Hello everybody, for this video I am going to talk about the quotient rule for logarithms. We already talked about the basic properties of logarithm and the product rule for logarithm. Okay, what does the quotient rule for logarithm tell us? The quotient rule for logarithms can be used to simplify a logarithm or a quotient by rewriting it as a difference of individual logarithms. So we have logarithm of m divided by n in base b can be written as the logarithm of m in base b minus the logarithm of n in base b. Okay? So you can see the difference now between the product rule and the quotient rule. In the product rule, if we have the product m and n, we add the two logarithms. But for the quotient rule, we are going to subtract the two logarithms. Okay? So let us try to apply this rule in the following example. We are going to expand this one using our knowledge in uh, product rule and quotient rule for logarithms. Okay? So... First, we need to factor all that is still possible to factor. For example, 15 can still be factored as 3 and 5, right? So 15 can be factored as 3 and 5. Let us just write here 3 times 5 for 15, okay? So basically, using the, the quotient rule, using the quotient rule, we have logarithm of okay this is the first one the denominator 3 times 5 times x times x minus 1 okay we have 4 3 times 5 times x times x minus 1 in base 2 okay and then minus the denominator logarithm in base 2 of the denominator we have 3x plus 4 and 2 minus x all right but as you can see right here we the this logarithm all right this logarithm right here composed of the logarithm of products the same is true with this one this is composed of logarithm of two products so we can still rewrite this using the product rule for logarithms right so we can still expand this one by writing since this is multiplication we have uh, addition of the logarithms of each individual factors okay that's logarithm of 3 in base 2 plus logarithm of 5 in base 2 plus the logarithm of x in base 2 plus the logarithm of x minus 1 in base 2 okay minus okay how about this one so we have minus since all logarithm should be uh, multiplied be with this minus sign right here so we have minus and then minus that's logarithm of uh, 3x plus 4 in base 2 and we still have minus logarithm of uh, 2 minus x in base 2 okay uh, we since this is a product we we should have plus right here right so uh, we can actually write this like that okay this is the sum of the logarithms of the two products this minus sign right here will be distributed to all the terms in this um, bracket so uh, it becomes minus and minus right there okay so that's how we expand logarithms using the product rule and the quotient rule okay so it's pretty easy and I hope you understood it. So for the next video, I am going to talk about the power rule for logarithms. So see you.
Bye.